If God's intention was to, in fact, give us this gift of the knowledge of right and wrong, and God planned for the basic nature of that gift to be arrived at through the process of evolution, that would do not diminish its significance any more than the fact that we are able to have intelligence and language as a process of evolution that we think we can understand diminishes God's hand in all of it. But I do think the moral law stands out for me as somebody who studies evolution every day as a pretty interesting phenomenon that is not fully explained by what we currently understand. Again, one has to realize that evolution doesn't really care about much of anything except reproductive fitness. That's what counts. And we also have to recognize that, in general, evolution operates on the individual. It's whether that individual can have more children than somebody else that has driven this process down through time. The moral law has interesting callings upon us at times, it calls us to do things that sometimes we really don't want to do. And the place that I th think is particularly interesting is this whole concept of altruism, this calling that we have to be unselfish, when oftentimes we feel like we want to be selfish. And particularly when that calls sacrificial acts, or even radical sacrificial acts, uh, such as putting one's own life at risk to try to help somebody else. I love the story of a fellow named Dirk Wellams, uh, who in the 16th century was imprisoned for his faith, managed to escape from the tower, running across the frozen landscape, was pursued by a guard, uh, Dirk managed to get across a frozen lake, but the guard fell through the ice. The guard began calling for help. Dirk, realizing this was another human being who was facing almost certain death, turned around, pulled the guard to safety. The guard promptly arrested Dirk, took him back to the tower, and he was put to death a week later for his faith. What an amazing story. Evolution would say Dirk made the wrong decision. He should have kept going. <laughs> He should have had a chance uh, to pass on his DNA, and instead he did this crazy thing where he sacrificed his own life, surely with some realization that he was putting himself at great risk in order to help this other person who in many ways was his enemy. And yet, is there not something about us that admires that? Is there not something internal to all of us that says, that was a noble act? 